What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel, After Sound here, bringing you Splinter Lens content every single day. We also stream right here on this channel every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday morning, so come by and say hello. All right, well, another day, another proposal, and uh, this one does not look like it has a very high chance of passing. As you can see here, this it's only at 31% approval, uh, and we haven't even gotten to the 24 million minimum SPS needed, although we're, we are very close and um, almost there. But it's quite a controversial one, and so I don't want to spend too much time on the proposal itself, especially if it's not looking like it's going to pass. But I do think it brings up some interesting topics that we can talk about. So this is from Chaos Commander, somebody who uh, has been putting data forth in the community. So shout out to Chaos Commander for all that you do uh, for helping shine a light on a lot of the back end happenings, especially when it came to bots uh, around this time last year, or I guess it was closer to like middle of last year. Um, so the proposal is that, uh, or what Chaos Commander is proposing, is to have the DAO acquire and use the unused team SPS allocation uh, from which our understanding is the team is not using right now for legal reasons. Now, this is what they have said previously in a town in town halls, I should say, maybe five, six months ago. And the reason that we know this is because the 1 million SPS per month that is being distributed for tower defense packs and will eventually be for the tower defense game as rewards is actually coming from the team's allocation. The team decided that they wanted to use that allocation because they couldn't use it for what they had originally intended. So instead, they are making a pivot with that SPS that was originally for the team and putting it forth for that amount, uh, or for, for those rewards. So I don't think that this is actually out of line. Um, and in fact, I think it's it's kind of a good idea in many instances, or in many cases, just from a, just from a basic standpoint of like, well, there's extra capital there and we need to buy up DEC and get it off the market, right? I've said this already with the SPS that was in the Dow saying that, why don't we diversify out? We don't need, we don't need to sell all the SPS, but I'm willing to take a little short-term pain on the price action for SPS by selling some uh, and then buying DEC to scoop it off, off the market and, uh, and you know, just, just leave it there until the economy can get to a better place. And there is a larger demand for DEC that putting it back out into circulation won't matter too much. This just takes it a step further and says, well, we don't even have to touch the, the SPS that's in the Dow. There's SPS that is allocated to the team that's not doing anything because the team can't use it. So the question then becomes like, how, well, how does the team feel about this? And maybe this is something that Chaos Commander should have talked to the team about before spending the DEC to, uh, the burning the DEC, I should say, to put this proposal out. But we salute you. Thank you for another 100,000 DEC down the drain. Um, but... Again, I think it's an interesting concept if we're thinking outside the box on where can we find this extra capital to come in and fight for the peg. Because most of the projects that have some kind of like stable coin, they need to fight to keep that peg. And, uh, and Splinterlands, for, for what it's worth, has not been fighting. In fact, they've been asking the community to do the fighting, right? Uh, frequently in town halls, you'll hear Aggie say or Matt say like, like we need the community to like buy up and hold DEC, but everybody's going to act in their own self-interest, right? Like I'm not going to buy DEC if I think it's going to go lower or it doesn't have any value to me. Sure. I, we all want this project to succeed. And I'm not saying that there aren't like that there aren't, you know, good Samaritans and utilitarians out there that will do that. In fact, I am holding actually a good amount of DEC, but part of the, let's put it this way. Part as as I've explored and branched out into some of the projects and games, some of the things, some of the criticisms that I will hear from people, not necessarily in Splinterlands, right, but just talking about uh, algorithmic stable coins or or you know, I guess I guess in, in some cases DEC, I've heard this commentary heard as well, is that you know the team isn't really fighting to keep it at peg. They did, they did when the um, when they took the Rooney proceeds and bought their way, you know, bought, bought all that DEC, kept it in company coffers. And I was actually very supportive of that. I know many people looked around and was like, oh, market manipulation, the team is manipulating the market. Uh, no, they weren't. They were making a smart business move because they need to hold DEC for back-end transactions. So why not buy it when it's cheap? And then you could potentially sell it and use it as income later because they do receive their income in DEC, keep in mind, right? Um, so it's not a bad idea for them to be sitting on DEC. And in fact, that's why we spend on these packs. That's why we, we, uh, you know, try to give the team as much DEC as possible, or we don't see that as a bad thing. Now the Dow, on the other hand, that really locks it up because it will not go anywhere 
until the DAO decides, meaning we decide and make a proposal on it to do something with that DEC. So if that is the case, then, well, the team has this SPS allocated. Why wouldn't they go about and use that? Uh, and so I think it's an interesting. I think it's an interesting point, and I do wonder because uh, again, you know, there's there's been a lot of negative um, negative feedback to this, but I do wonder if the team had suggested this, would all the people who are voting against it continue to vote against it? Um, so, I again, the 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 big thing here would be there there would be a short term price hit to SPS, but I I have a feeling if people can see this coming from a mile away because that's just how these DAO proposals are going to work. Like we are going to vote on them. There's going to be seven days. They're going to get approved. And then we're going to find out that it's going to happen at some point. It's going to be so easy to front run. So easy to front run. Now, I'm not saying that we still shouldn't do it, right? Because we do need to get that DEC off and you're going to get a lot of people who are going to try and play the market one way or another. But ultimately, like, I I think SPS will be fine in the, even in the short to medium term. So again, I, I, I am actually for it, but... I don't, I haven't voted or maybe I did. I I can't remember, but I'm actually for it. Again, this is in the pre-proposal stage, but the reason that I'm for it is because I wanted to go to the team and maybe the team just has been too busy with all the stuff happening that they haven't thought about using it for that. Like there's funds just sitting there that are literally frozen because they can't do anything with it. And this might be a good way to help get DEC back to peg. Now, the thing is, and I would actually like an answer to this, and so we need to see how much transparency we can get from the team with what their intended use of those are uh, of of that SPS was, if they if they're allowed to tell us, right? I don't know the legal implications of this, but if they can tell us, I'd love to hear it. I'd love to hear what they were what they are planning to use that SPS for, if they can ever figure out the the legal hurdles and loopholes, um, and if they aren't planning on using anything, or if they feel as though that they agree with this proposal that it could actually be something productive to be used right now, I'm for it. So I am voting for the pre-proposal. Uh, if I haven't already, I am voting for the pre-proposal simply because I want this conversation to be brought to the town hall, I think. Uh, and I, I don't know if they're going to add a section, but they really should <laughs> between <laughs> between last week and, and the upcoming town hall. I feel like it's just been, it has just been pre-proposals galore. So I feel like there should be a portion of the town hall that's dedicated to discussing this. Actually, discussing might not be the right thing, but at least addressing it. So whether it's Matt or whether it's Aggie or just someone from the team should be coming on with like a prepared statement on how the team feels about X, Y, and Z. Again, only if they pass. Uh, only if they pass and become real proposals. But um, you know, we're we're very far away from that with this specific one. So that being said, with everything that you've read here, um, or if you have read it, or everything that I've shared, again, I didn't want to read this out to you, but with everything that you know of this, how are you feeling? And uh, just just in case you don't feel like reading or if you haven't read it, here's the sim- here's the here's the cliff notes, right? Execution, they want up to 48 million SPS, the same as what's allocated in the down funds uh, for tower defense will be swapped for DEC. So they're going to take 48 million SPS, uh, which is currently allocated for the team to be to swap that for DEC in the DEC SPS LP at a rate of 65,000 SPS for a day for up to 730 days. So it's essentially just going to keep on selling SPS and buying DEC. The DAO will continue these transactions daily until DEC is at the intended peg or all 48 million of the SPS has been used or spent. So it could take a while, but it will provide this constant upward pressure for DEC to keep it at peg. It will provide a a consistent downward pressure for SPS, but I, I, again, I'm okay with that because I don't, I personally don't think it's going to take that long to get back to, to peg once these sinks start coming in. But that is the question. When will the sinks be here? So let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I will catch up with you all in the next video. And I will see you around the game. Take care.